Okay, good morning. My name is Brian Tour. Uh, we're here doing some splicing videos this morning. Uh, right now we're just going to walk through some of the tools that we use. Um, in this particular case, uh, I have a, uh, a splicing vise, a little homemade splicing vise that I made. Uh, and we just, to use that, we lay the cable in there, uh, form the eye that we want, uh, get a short end, put a piece of steel over top of that. And then put the clamp on and clamp that in there just like that and then we can splice it. Now out in the woods uh, you wouldn't normally have this vise. Uh, you might have a stump or the end of a log and uh, some railroad spikes. I mean, usually our railroad spikes are full size but I've got some little ones here that I can use to show you the, the principles. Uh, we we'll drive one of them in uh, part way and uh, we'll grab a second one and form the eye, lay it in there uh, fairly tight, find out where that spike goes, put it either ahead of or back of that one just a little bit, uh, get it started, pull the eye down to where we want it, and then hammer them in and that holds the, the eye um, for splicing. Like I say, in the top of a stump, the end of a log. If you're using big spikes and you can't pull them out, what you do is you just take the chainsaw and you cut well below the spikes and then down either side and then break that piece out. Uh, I just happen, I'm going to go off camera a second, I just happen to have a crowbar that we've modified just a little bit to pull these little spikes uh, so that works and uh, maybe we'll give you a link to an address where you can uh, at least at one time you could uh, purchase those little spikes they work really well they work actually on on fairly good sized line they'll work up to seven eighths or inch line you might need five or six of them uh, but uh, but they work pretty good um, our main tool is a marlin spike. Uh, these are uh, tempered steel. There's a particular shape, a taper on them that has historically worked well. These are made by an outfit called Cleveland Machine. Uh, they're out of Longview, Washington. Uh, you can get them in most rigging shops, but they do have a website. Uh, if you tap them, they ring. The secret to these marlin spikes is the temper that's in it. Uh, this gentleman uh, CNC machines the, the spikes and then he uh, they temper them. He's got a metallurgist he works with. They temper them in an oven. So every, every one of them is tempered exactly the same. They're very high quality spikes. I really like them so I, I can't recommend them enough. Uh, usually we've got a hammer if we need it for driving the spike through the cable or pounding the spikes. Uh, it's just pretty ubiquitous. Uh, Marlin spikes come in all different sizes. I think there's one size, commercial size, smaller than this, uh, six inch. Uh, we get up 18 inches, that would be on a larger line, maybe an inch and an eighth uh, skyline. Uh, and they make them up quite large. Uh, the price goes up exponentially as you get bigger. That's a, probably a $150 spike uh, right there. Um, Okay, 